it's been a little over a year since we bought our Airstream and we are actually gonna take it in for its first regular session of maintenance. And so we have a list of things that we have kept over the past year, minor things that we wanted the Airstream dealer to look at. So we're just gonna go over it with you guys now before we drop off our Airstream. All right, let's go into the list. All right, one of the things that we notice every time is when I go to open this fan, after it's been in storage for a few days, I'll go ahead and do it and open it and it won't, it'll be tough to open. Here it's opening all the way. You see when you press it, it opens all the way. The first time I do it, it'll open up a little bit. I have to close it back up and then open it up all the way. So it's just slow to open. This spacer right here, this plastic spacer, there should be one on top, one on the bottom. The one on top broke. If you see, there should be a spacer there that holds it in the center, but it's not there. So the TV drops down. We have the spacer, it broke. So we're gonna see if Airstream can replace that plastic spacer that goes right here. All right, another thing here is the speaker grill. This speaker grill, it just fell off just by driving. So we have it in a cabinet and we're just gonna put it back on. I don't think it's that bad, but I think when you pop it back on, it doesn't stay on perfectly. We just need to adjust it. So minor. So if you look over here, it looks like it's a rivet or something that came out. So it's a little pointy, a little pointy edge right there, right here. So this right here is like a little point, like a little pointy nail almost right here at the edge of the bed. So I want to make sure that Airstream takes a look at that and fixes that. Another thing is that we've had rust or we think is rust around the sink for the kitchen and the bathroom. And I've cleaned it and it doesn't seem to really help much. So it seems like they're just, I don't know if it's stain marks you can see and it's all over the sink. Some places it's more pronounced than others, but it's pretty much all over the sink, these spots. So we're gonna ask them what that is because it shouldn't be rusting after, you know, less than a year, especially when we don't use it that heavily. The other thing that we need to get fixed is here in the bathroom. The track down here, as you can see, has come off. And so water drips down when you take a shower. So we need to get this fixed. And apparently that's a very common problem with Airstreams. So all the water comes down here and you open the door, it just, it falls out to the floor because of the, the bottom of the, the shower that's loose. All right, another thing that we want to have Airstream check out is when we receive the unit, it already had the cabinets like this. You see these corners here? We just feel like that's a little sloppy. Like you can see kind of like the glue of these of the doors, of the cabinet doors. So we want to see what they say. This is the way it came from the factory and it just doesn't seem as seamless as it should be. So basically cabinet door, just the finish is a little sloppy on these doors like where you could kind of like see the glue or the you know the connection there you see this right here it just doesn't seem as nicely finished as it should be we would get a message that would say error 12. it hasn't happened lately but it happened almost every single time for like six or seven months where we would turn on the hot water in the shower and then it basically would say error and the water would be freezing cold we'd have to turn the water off wait 15 20 seconds turn it back on and then it would work and function it would kick into gear but for the first time it just would not do it for whatever reason now lately it seems to be working so we just want them to check it out another thing that we noticed was we first purchased this from inside this door the bathroom door it only opens if I do it up if I do it down it doesn't open enough to open so let's demonstrate that so right now we're in the bathroom I go down I cannot open the door if I go up it opens Wanted to point it out to Airstream, we'll see what they say. From the outside, it's fine. It'll open from the bottom or from the top. So from the outside, it's fine. It's from the inside where it doesn't open. All right, I wanted to point this out. So one of the things we notice on this door, see these brown spots, like water spots. So whenever it rains, when this door is closed, water seeps through this door. And it looks like this screw here is a little rusted. So somehow it's, it goes through there, it goes through the seam, and then it goes all the way down. And yeah, we just have to clean it, but it just doesn't look that nice. So we're gonna point that out to Airstream. All right, one of the things I notice every time I'm putting this on in is this right here. 
that knob right there is very hard to engage and disengage. Arm is very hard to engage as well. Harder than the other one, it shouldn't be that hard. It looks like it needs to be lubricated. Another thing here is on this awning in the back. So the awning stick has lost some of the rubber, it's like bare metal. Just gotta be extra careful with that one. All right, and over here on this, this is the awning stick. This stick they give us to use for the awning. Has a hook on one, this rubberized hook on one side, and it should be a rubberized little L on the other side. But the rubber on the L, or the plastic on the L, that tore off a while ago. Like, maybe only after two or three months of use. So, it makes it a little harder to open to get to the awning because it's very slippery. So sometimes I end up using the hook part because it's rubberized, but I'm gonna mention that to Airstream if there's a way we can get a new stick or a new rubber cover on that stick. There is a clamp over here that holds hoses over here. And in this clamp right here, I, I added that tie wrap and I put these things together in order to you know stick together and not get close to this tire. But I think that clamp is screwed on somewhere on this Airstream, somewhere down here on the underside. Uh, but I'm not sure where and I don't know where that screw is. It must have fallen off. So I mentioned that to Airstream and this clamp just fell off. And luckily I found it while we were just in the campsite. It was just loose around the hose. So I tie wrapped it to keep them all together. Okay, so that's our list of minor things that we found wrong with the Airstream after one year. As I said, we're going to take it to Airstream tomorrow just to see what they say. It's our regular check-in, our maintenance with them, so we're going to ask them to take a look at these things. They are very minor, very, very, very minor. Overall, we are so pleased with our Airstream. It has been fantastic, and I'm really pleased that it's only been these minor things that have happened after us using it for a full year. Um, just to give you an idea of our usage, we use it about once a month. Sometimes it's once every two months, so it's not heavy use that we have um, for our Airstream, but it's decent use. And our trips last, you know, a few days typically. It's been in great shape. It's holding up fantastic. It's been a great purchase. And again, these are such minor things. We wanted to show them to you so you can understand what's happened to us after one year. So let us know down below, have you had any problems with your Airstream after the first year? If so, what have you done? Any advice, any tips for us? Leave us a comment down below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.